Bonafide Hustler here, and today we're gonna discuss a thrift haul. I'm gonna show you some things that I bought and sold, some things I picked up, and most importantly, what's in this game that I thrifted recently? It's something crazy. What's going on guys and gals? Chris, the Bonafide Hustler, coming to you live from the inside of my office, and today we're gonna be looking at some thrifted stuff, uh, including what crazy thing is in this game right here. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for all the notifications. And also don't forget to get the free guide, which is right here. You can pick it up at the first link down below because what I'm gonna show you today are some neat used items that you can flip for cash. And I'm also gonna flash some pictures of some neat items that I already flipped for good cash. So yeah, pick up that guide and you can definitely uh, learn how to do this on your own time. Okay, so the game is clearly gonna be last because it's worth the weight. But let's take a look at the first find uh, that's sitting down below. And I uh, bought this at a Goodwill. It was 10 bucks and it should sell for around 50. Also, if I have a corresponding guide that might help you uh, regarding some of the things that I'm gonna show you today, then I'll flash that for a split second on the screen as well. Okay, right here, first find is Mad Rock climbing shoes with tags as well, as you can see that. So climbing shoes are pretty cool. I discussed them in two of my guides actually, uh, shoes to bucks and also in outdoor items to bucks as well. Um, but yeah, these are Mad Rock climbing shoes. I've been flipping climbing shoes forever. Um, and when I find them at thrift stores, um, you know, I tend to buy them if they're in good condition. Uh, we can tell that the actual edge here is super brand new, right? Um, Mad Rock's a good brand, 510, um, La Sportiva, there's a bunch of really good brands. These are a nice size as well. Uh, this $10 find should sell on eBay for around 50 bucks. Next find, from a Goodwill, I believe, actually these might have been the savers actually. I think these were at $12.98. They could probably sell for around 70 or 80 bucks. Right here, we have a pair of shoes. Now you might be thinking like, okay, it just looks like a normal pair of like trail shoes. These are actually called approach shoes and people use these to typically get to climbing destinations or ascents. Um, they don't obviously wear rock climbing shoes to go to those places. They wear other shoes to get them to the place. They stage, get their ropes ready. But these are the types of shoes that are kind of used to get from like the parking lot to uh, the climbing destination. They're called approach shoes. Um, they can resist a lot of shifting, you know, um, to where your foot won't roll off the shoe or anything like that. A lot of times you can tell approach shoes because they have a really big piece of rubber uh, right around this one area and the really good ones will have it all the way through to the back. So uh, this brand Garmont is a pretty decent brand. Um, La Sportiva is a good one as well. Um, and then there's also Scarpa. That's a really good one to look out for. But we have the rubber right here, the rubber right here, and then there's a really nice like heavily uh, you know, non-scuffable kind of thing right here. So it pretty much has that whole thing covered. Uh, this is a good size as well. Um, these were $12.98 and they should sell for around 70 to 80 bucks. I discuss approach shoes or things like this in two of my guides as well, called Shoes to Bucks and Outdoor Items to Bucks. This is a nice find right here, kind of a sleeper thing to look for in a shoe rack when you're at a thrift store. Okay, some bread and butter kind of stuff. I went to a thrift store that was independently owned or just, it's just a single kind of thrift store here in Austin, Texas. It might be a part of a, a chain, I don't know. Bread and butter type stuff. This is Brooks Cascadia, which makes very good uh, running and trail running shoes. So the Cascadia models, I think they're up to like maybe 12 by now, maybe 13 as in like, you know, Cascadia 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. Uh, these are Brooks Cascadia 11s, um, nice colorway. Should sell for around 55 to about 65 bucks. And I paid 10 bucks for these. Uh, they are in mint condition. They are women's awesome color as stated earlier. Uh, I discussed these in two of my guides as well. Uh, shoes to bucks and outdoor items to bucks. Um, so yeah, this is definitely something you would wanna pick up because Brooks Cascadia, if you look on eBay, has a ton of solds in the used section. So uh, definitely something you wanna be looking out for if you are at a thrift store or at a garage sale because I've found these at garage sales before as well. We're getting so close to the video game. When you see what's inside this video game, you're gonna flip out. All right, so um, I'm gonna show, got something else down here. So I'm gonna show one more thrifted score and then I'm gonna show something I bought off of Facebook Marketplace on a random Saturday morning, which is pretty cool. Probably a personal kind of keeping kind of find, but still, if I wanted to resell it, I could make a hundred bucks on it. Um, and then I'll show you some neat things that have sold locally, and then we'll get into that video game. Okay, so from a Goodwill, I think this was, uh, I think it was a Goodwill. It might've been another thrift store. Either way, these were 10 bucks. These are Cobra roller skates. People use these uh, to train for derby type stuff. 
Um, but yeah, these are in very good condition. A lot of times you can tell the condition by looking at the, uh, by the brake or the stopper right here. These are in pretty much mint condition. And also the wheels, if they're in mint condition, will have the little grooves still in them. Uh, Cobra is a great brand, Bont, B-O-N-T. There are a bunch of other good brands you can look out for. But uh, roller derby type skates are interesting. And as you see, this one has a plastic kind of base right here. Um, as they get into more lightweight materials and even carbon fiber, um, those things can be worth some serious, serious money. In fact, it's not uncommon for like true uh, roller skates, you know, for derby, um, to start creeping in the $400 to $700 range to buy them brand new. So you can kind of imagine what the marketplace kind of looks like for that when you resell it. Um, but these right here were 10 bucks and I should resell for around 50 to 70 bucks all day. So yeah, these, uh, you know, always look out for these. Typically when you find them, they'll have a little bit more green around the wheel right here, you know. Um, but I've been flipping these things forever. Um, so yeah, definitely something you want to look out for. I think I discussed this in outdoor items to bucks maybe? I'm not 100% sure, but uh, these are really cool and don't pass them up if you see roller skates. Definitely at least look it up on your phone to see if there's a market for what you're seeing in your hands. Now, let's talk about some things that I've sold locally that were really good finds that all flipped within one week. Um, I'm gonna flash pictures right here. All right, so the very first thing is, and I think because Goodwill's here in town um, cannot have auctions due to coronavirus type stuff, um, all the cool stuff that was destined for the auctions ends up on the floor. So this right here I flipped yesterday. You can kind of just check it out right here, the picture. Uh, this is a Raleigh Sports um, three-speed crew, three-speed, you know, probably late 70s cruiser bike with a front rack. Nice, $40 find um, about four days ago, and I flipped it yesterday for uh, 150 bucks. So that was really, really neat. Um, someone in the neighborhood bought it, so I had originally had it 180 bucks, but since the guy in the neighborhood was really cool and everything, I decided to sell it for 150. So that was neat, but it's gonna get better. So here is another bike that I found off of Nextdoor, and this was $70, all right? 70 bucks for this bike. Um, I found it on Nextdoor uh, last weekend and um, I Venmoed the money, so they held it for quite a while for me, like four days. Finally made it out there, picked up the bike, threw it on top of my car, and uh, this is a specialized rock hopper uh, with, uh, not Reynolds tubing, it's uh, Richie tubing, right? Richie steel, which is actually really good steel. Um, but this bike right here, 70 bucks, extra large frame, ended up selling for $220 uh, about three to four days later. Uh, from when I picked it up. So that was a great, great find. Uh, you can always learn about bikes in Bikes to Bucks, which is a guide that I have. And uh, that'll definitely help you be able to spot like what's super profitable. And Bikes to Bucks also comes with a 2.0 version too, which has some more, uh, you know, cause I built Bikes to Bucks about four years ago. Uh, the 2.0 version I built about a year ago. And it's basically two guides in one. And uh, it'll teach you about some evolution of the things in the uh, cycling industry. Uh, of things that are very profitable to pick up. So you can check that out as well. Um, okay, and then the last bike, which is neat. This flip, this sold, again, probably four to five days from when I bought it. Bought this last week right here. This is a Trek 7.2 FX, small frame. Um, this bike was $70 out the door, right? Uh, flip this one for 350 bucks. Crazy. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty good score. Um, yeah, so that's a urban commuter slash hybrid bike. So. Yeah, that 7.2 FX sold for really, really good cheddar profits. All right, now we're in the time of the video where I'm gonna show you this game. All right, so this game, I found it at a thrift store, uh, $8, well, about $8.65. Nothing crazy, it's just a Pokemon game, right? So, <laughs> I bought this game because it's profitable. I think it could sell for around 40 to 42 on Amazon. Um, case is there, the insert, not the insert, but the, uh, the, you know, the outer graphic is there. It's a 3DS game, so it's gonna play no matter what. The contacts look good, completely unscuffed. So that's good. But when I opened this game, when I opened this game, I was kind of blown away with, as to what I found in it. Oh my gosh. So what is in this game? Finally, there's a the, the part of the video that you're like, oh my God, like what is in this game? So here's the game. I open it. Hey, there's a game inside, sweet. But what is here on the corner? What is that? What is in the corner up there? It appears to be baking soda for like a wallet, maybe? Maybe you wanna keep your wallet fresh and clean and smelling good? I don't know. What do you guys think that is? 
Is it baking soda? Hopefully it's baking soda. Um, that's what was in the game. Yeah. So the game can sell on Amazon. It's got like a 3,000 something rank. $42 is what it would pay, which I will sell, sell, send it off on Amazon. But that's what was in here. Some baking soda, right? Right? What do you think? So let me know down below, put a comment, and I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy. Goodbye!